Hello guys, this is Amel and welcome back to another awesome tutorial about MIPS, MIPS assembly programming. Well, and today I'm going to teach you about loops. Yeah, loops, while loops. So it's a very important and if you have previous programming experience you know what I'm talking about. And first of all, um, make a file, go to file, new, and as usual, save it to your desktop. And I'm going to name it my while that ASM and as usual we have two sections that data and that text data for all the data and text for all the instructions so <clears throat> what is a loop for those of you who don't know well a loop is just like um, it's it, it allows us to re repeat so it, re it allows us to, re to repeat code in, a, in concise ways so in a very concise manner so if we want to uh, repeat the statement one statement like many times we can just use a loop and it's gonna save us a lot of code it's gonna save us a lot of time um, so in let me show you this this code right here I have this code this is in C++ and you can see that I have like a, a variable and the variable is I it has the value of 0 and there's a condition this is the while loop right here so while I is less than 10 um, the the value in I is going to be incremented so it's gonna be uh, saying okay 0 then it's gonna be 1 then it's gonna be 2 3 and when the value is equal to 10 the loop is gonna stop so how can we do this in MIPS well I'm gonna show you right now so let's say that I as usual I have my main um, and then let's say that I is gonna be uh, T0 so I'm gonna say at immediate dollar sign T0 dollar sign 0 comma 0 so I'm just I'm making sure that T0 has the value 0 I mean by default they have the value 0 so I just want to make sure I mean it's always good practice so this is just clearing the value in t0 to uh, in t0 to 0 so this is i i is let me write it down here i equals 0 okay so we need a label and I'm gonna name it while and we also need another label and it's, it's gonna be exit so uh, remember when you want to make a while loop, you're going to have to write two labels, one while and one exit. Right here, you don't need it because this is a high level language, but here, this is assembly language, so you need two labels. Um, what's going to happen after you exit and then uh, the while loop? So um, now we need a condition. So we're going to say, branch if less than dollar sign t0 and let's say uh, what was it here it was 10 so we're gonna say 10 and then we need a label exit so what this is gonna do is that okay so actually it's it's not less than it's greater than my logic was wrong yeah so if the value in t0 is greater than 10 then it's gonna come here it's gonna go to it's gonna exit the while loop so it's gonna stop repetition it's gonna stop the repetition it's not gonna continue repeating so it says branch if greater than so if the value in t0 is greater than 10 then exit the while loop all right so if we now we have to modify the value in t0 because if we don't do that then the while loop is going to it's going to repeat indefinitely and we don't want that to happen so we have to modify the value in the in t0 so we're going to say add immediate dollar sign t0 dollar sign t0 comma one so this is equivalent to saying i plus plus or i 
get the value of i plus 1. So in the first repetition, I mean the first time, i, I mean t0 is going to be 0. And then here it's going to be incremented by 1, so it's going to be 1. So next time it's going to be 2, then 3, then 4. Okay, but now we need a way to tell uh, the while loop to, to loop. So for that we use a special instruction which is called the jump instruction. So we're going to jump back where? Well to while loop. So J target jump unconditionally. Jump to statement at a target address. So what this means is that okay uh, right here we have like um, the, uh, this right here it's going to say okay uh, it's going to be 0, so I'm not going to go to exit. Then, okay, increment it by 1. So now, T0 is going to be, it's going to have 1. And then, go back to while. Then, okay, 1 is still less than 10. So, so okay, so what I can do is that I continue. So now it's going to be 2. Go back again. And then it says, okay, now, uh, 2 is less than 10. So, I don't have to go to exit. And, okay, increment it by 1, 3. Okay, now jump back again to while. So it's going to continue jumping back, jumping back, jumping back, and increment it until there's going to be a moment that uh, the value into zero is going to be greater uh, than, than 10. Um, yeah, so, and because my code right here, right, it says while well, i is less than 10. So it means that it cannot be... Um, equal to 10 either. So just to make it easier for you, let's say that it was i less than or equal to 10. So this is the code right here. So once the value right here, once the value in t0 equals 10, uh, I mean it is greater than 10, then it's gonna exit the while loop. Alright, so let me uh, make it a little bit more concise and I'm gonna make two messages just to show you that this is working so I'm gonna make the messages in random access memory so I'm gonna say message colon it's gonna be text and then I'm gonna say um, after while loop is done okay so I'm gonna make another one it's gonna be new line it's gonna be that ASCII Z it's gonna be backslash N and well I think this is gonna be okay this is gonna be enough so as usual um, well, in this case right here, I just want to print the value. I want to print the value in T0. So, I'll do it right here. Actually, I'm going to make a function for that. So, yeah, to make a function, um, I'm going to say um, l end of program, load immediate, the last time V0, 10, Cisco. So I just want to tell the program that this is the end right here, the end of main. But I want to make a function called uh, print number. So I'm going to make a label right here, print number, and then it's going to be loading media dollar sign v0 comma one, and then it's going to be um, add dollar sign a0 dollar sign t0 dollar sign 0 and then I'm gonna say Cisco so this line right here is gonna print the number yeah and I also want to print a space actually it's not gonna be a new line it's gonna be it's gonna be just um, space so let me call let me call a space and right here 
it's going to be a comma and a space. So now I want to display a space too. So I'm going to say loading media dollar sign v0 comma four. Um, load address dollar sign a zero comma uh, space. And then I'm going to say Cisco. And finally, I want to return. So jump register dollar sign RA. So this function right here is going to print my numbers. It's going gonna, it's gonna to print the number every iteration. So I can just call it. So every time I enter the while loop, um, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it right here. I'm gonna say jump and link, print number. So as you can see, I'm gonna be printing printing the number to show you that this is working, and incrementing the number. So uh, after I exit the program, I also want to display a message. And I'm gonna say loading media dollar sign v0 comma uh, four load address dollar sign a0 comma message and finally Cisco. So what this is gonna do right here is that when I'm done, this message is gonna be displayed after while loop is done. So let's save and let's execute this code. So Save, run, assemble, and execute. Voila! So you can see that we have the values right here. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way to 10. And once the, the loop is done, it's going to go to exit and it's going to say after while loop is done. So congratulations! Now you know how to make a while loop in MIPS. And with the power of while loops, uh, you're going to have. Uh, now you have available more, um, I mean, you, you can do a lot more than you were able to do before. So this is going to be very useful when I show you about arrays. And in computer programming, loops, we use loops all the time. So thank you for watching. Uh, actually, let me show you the code one more time. Uh, remember, in order to make a while loop, we need two labels. One of the labels, I name it while, colon, the other label is the exit. We need a condition. In this case, I'm using a pseudo instruction. However, uh, sometimes your professor, maybe, he doesn't want you to use a pseudo instruction. So you can use another conditional, maybe uh, set on less than, or branch if equal, branch if not equal. So if you don't know about those, I have uh, another tutorial. So just go back to those tutorials on branching conditions and if statements. So um, you can use that. So as you can see, the condition here is that the value into zero cannot be greater than 10. So when, when every time, uh, this is going to be repeating. Uh, so the first time it's going to increment the value into zero by one, then it's going to be two, then it's going to be three, then four. Eventually, this value is going to be greater than 10, so it's going to go to the exit. Once it goes to the exit, it's going to be done, and it's going to display the message after while loop is done. And right here, I'm just calling a function, calling a procedure, jump, jump and link print number. So I'm just calling that, that procedure right here. And well, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and see you next time.